What's up guys, Mr. Madness here. Today's video, I got a cool one for us today, guys. We're gonna be starting with the Parrot, guys. Badass gun, CZ Checkmate. This thing is sweet. You can check out my page for the full video of this gun. But what we're gonna be doing, guys, is starting with uh, longest barrel and using comps and versus ported barrel and then go down to the shortest barrel. And we're gonna see how much velocity we lose, guys using the Garmin, the C1 Pro. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna do some uh, trigger tests on all these guns. And then we're gonna do, I'm gonna measure the barrels here just so we're accurate. So let's get started. We'll start first with the Parrot. <clears throat> all right guys, we're at, let's see where we're at. Right on the end here, very end of the trowel. This is about a five inch barrel, as you guys can see, five inch barrel. And we'll do a quick trigger pass guys with the Parrot. This is a single action gun only guys. So this is what that means, you're gonna, it's gonna be super light. It's gonna be very light guys, this trigger. I think it's like a two and a half pound trigger, but we're about to find out. Actually, I think it might even be a little over one. Well, there you go, two pound trigger. I have checked it before guys and I'm pretty sure it's I've gotten it at like at a 1.8 super awesome trigger all right next up we're gonna go to the CZ this is the shadow 2 guys I got this one equipped with the Delta point Pro I'm gonna show you quick nothing in the pipe super awesome gun guys I got to give a big shout out to uh, Lock grips to send me these grips. We want to get a little closer on these grips. Super sweet. Look at these grips, guys. Just awesome. Say CZ Shadow. Then you got your two there. Got that uh, mag release button on there. Awesome grips. But anyways, this one here, I got the ported barrel on here, guys. Come a little closer. Slide cut out. Got the pop -a hole cut. Got the crown barrel, as you can see on the end there. This is all tricked out from Cajun Gunworks, guys, this gun. What they did with this one, guys, the whole internal is pretty much gutted out. Got the Pro Package. Got the flattest trigger you can get on here. Get a little closer here. Got that race hammer. Super sweet. But we're going to do a quick trigger test on that. We're going to measure this barrel quick. Let's see where we're at. I think this is like a 4.9 barrel. Yeah, hair under 5. It's a hair under a 5 inch trigger, five inch uh, barrel. We're gonna do a quick trigger test on this. I think this is a little over a two pound trigger on this one, guys. Yeah, super awesome trigger. Just a little heavier than the Parrot. A little over a two pound trigger. I mean, this thing is like butter. Cajun Gunworks, guys, they do awesome work. And then we're going to go to a, the CZ, the factory. This is just a plain Jane. As you can see, nothing in the pipe. I'm going to measure the barrel on this one. For the bang for the buck, guys, this, the CZ Shadow 2, this is an older model. It doesn't have the uh, cutouts in there for your slide. Either did that other one, actually, I sent in the Cajun Gunworks, and they cut the slide out for the red dot. But bang for the buck, under a 1000 bucks. this gun is awesome. These things are just sweet. But this is a 4.9 inch barrel too, same barrel as the other one, so I'm not even gonna measure it. But we'll do a quick trigger test on there. I'm gonna show you the difference in triggers, but how good the factory trigger is on these guys. They're awesome. This one's closer to three. Yeah, well, a little over a three pound trigger. Anyways, next up, we got the CZ. This is the PCR, nine millimeter. You can see nothing in the pipe. Big shout out to Lock Grips again on this one. They sent these grips to me. These are the uh, the Cowboy Beat Boy Bobs. Awesome grips, guys. I had this one done from, I put the um, Metal God Rod on here. Then I did the, the Cajun Gunworks. I put the What's it called? The ultra lightweight kit, what that comes with, guys. I got the new firing pin, new spring, new retainer here, and I put these Dawson night sights on. 
They really lighten up the trigger a lot, guys. These are the night sights. All right, guys, we're gonna do a quick trigger test on the CZ PCR nine millimeter, nothing in the pipe. A hair under a four pound trigger, guys. It lightened that uh, single action up a lot for this uh, ultra lightweight kit from Cajun Gunworks. For 50 bucks, made a huge difference, guys. I'd highly recommend that. Tell you on the CZ here, guys, these are the palm swellers, the bogeys. Got that nice liner there, too. I like these grips a lot. G10 grips, fiberglass, sweet grips. Last but not least, we got the Glock 43, guys. This is our smallest barrel. This is about a three, what are we, three inch, three inch uh, barrel on this, guys. All right, let's check the trigger out on this. All right, so closer to an eight pound trigger on that, guys. But I have checked the Glock before and it's been better. It's been, you know, around that seven. So I think I, you know, but anyways, we're gonna get started. I got the Blazer, 115 grain. It doesn't say the feet per second on this, but we're about to find out what it is with the Garmin C1 Pro. We're gonna start first with the biggest, with the, it's just, I mean, it's only by like, you know, barely any bigger, what, five versus 4.9. But what we're gonna find out though, guys, this has got a comp on it versus the ported barrel so they say you lose a little velocity with the ported barrel and we'll find out guys because i have the factory i have the factory uh cz shadow 2 right there so we're going to find out the difference in velocity with the ported barrel versus the factory barrel and then we're versus a comp and ported we're going to find out the difference between the two so let's first start out with uh we'll start with the um parrot and the Parrot comes with 20 round magazines. So you got that nice red plate on the bottom. But let's get this Garmin set up first. Go to new session. Go down to pistol. Uh, feet per second, 600 to 1700. We're gonna skip the grain. I don't notice any difference with that. It tells you to hold it above. All right, let's get started, guys. Throw my ears on. Hundred and fifteen grain, nine millimeter. We got the parrot, guys. Five inch barrel at the comp. Here we go. Let's see where it's at. This thing is awesome, guys. First shot. 11.96. A little chilly went out this morning, guys. Eleven eighty-four. All right. Next up, we're gonna go. We're gonna start first. I'm gonna use the same magazine, guys. So you guys know I got I got the same um, same one going for all the CZs, 115 grain. So this is a non non porter barrel, guys. Just the factory plain Jane model. We're gonna see where we're at. Eleven seventy five. Twelve hundred, so it definitely went up a little bit from the not. I think it went up just a little bit from the parrot. All right, we're gonna find out now from uh, the twelve hundred. Now we got the CZ, the port of, or the uh, yeah, the CZ Shadow Two, the ported barrel. Now, guys, we're gonna see if we lose any velocity at all. So we're at twelve hundred. We got max with the factory one. We're gonna see where we're at with the. Uh, Ported barrel. This thing has like no recoil, guys, with this ported barrel. It's awesome.
1171. So it didn't change too much. Eleven sixty five. So it definitely went down. We got twelve hundred with the factory one, guys. So the port of barrel. So that port of barrel, guys, we definitely lost a little velocity. Not much, but you know, I'd say what? Forty feet per second, maybe? Average. All right, now we're moving to the PCR. Eleven sixty-five. Let's see how much we go down. Eleven oh nine. Eleven hundred. All right. Last but not least, guys, we got the Glock. Glock 43. Where are we at? 1100. Eleven twenty-three. Interesting. It went up a little, and this is a little shorter barrel. Eleven oh six. What's interesting to me, guys, for this test is, I guess what I was really curious about, obviously we knew it was gonna go down a little bit for the barrel length, but I was really curious, guys, between the difference, between the, you know, uh, like between these two, the factory shadow two, how much it changed between the ported barrel and non-ported barrel, and it definitely, the velocity did change a little bit. And then between the, comp and just a ported barrel you know it did change a little bit there but not a lot it didn't change much and that's kind of a big controversy i've heard a lot of people asking me to do a different test with the garmin and nine millimeter 45 i got all kinds of cool tests on my page guys check all those tests out i got a lot of cool videos you guys do me a favor go back and watch some of my videos and uh let me know what you guys want to see you know what what videos you guys want me to put up next put in the comments below and if you guys haven't done so already do me a favor turn that ringer on the bell so you guys get my notifications when i put new videos on if you guys haven't done so already hit that subscribe and like button you guys have yourself a wonderful day